What up? It's your boy, Nick Incredible Man. Yes, I am back at it again, and I apologize for not diving right back into this as well, but I am now, and this is Uzumaki Chapter 3, titled The Scar. Let's get it, man. So we got the picture, and um, it looks like a chick, and like she's going to be wrapped up in a spiral, too. Uh, okay, when I started going to Kurozu High School, I made friends with Azami Kurotani. She committed, she commuted to school from Mir Mirayamashi. She was one of those pretty reserved girls. But now I regret ever meeting her. If I hadn't, she would have never met Shuichi. And we might have, have prevented what happened. From the day she started school, she was always surrounded by guys. This is for you. Oh, she walked right past the dude. Like, peasant. <laughs> hey, want to go for a ride? Hmm. Let's go, Kiri. You're so popular. No, I'm not. Oh, come on. You're so pretty. She was obviously... Oh, okay, my bad. Did I read that wrong? Okay, no, yeah, right. She was ob obviously used to it. Eat me. <laughs> she was she was good at giving the cold shoulder. As time went on, a rumor started. Kiri, are you still hanging out with Azumi? Um, yeah. You really shouldn't. Why not? She's got a bad reputation. She uses her looks to get guys. Man, sh we in the first couple pages of of reading this manga, we seen her shoot down. Two guys. So how is she using her look to get guys? She gets them obsessed and then dumps them. They say she's got a magic power. Magic. The power to attract boys. The secrets on her forehead. You can't tell because of her bangs, but she's supposed to have a scar there. Oh, so that's why it's titled Scar. Okay. They say that's the source of her power. You'd better be careful or she'll end up stealing your boyfriend. So the girl comes over and they and like they hush up for sure. Kiri, the the bell rang. Let's go back to the classroom. Sure, Azumi. Splish splash. I was taking her back. No 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 no. Ah, that was good. She does have a scar. It looks like a looks like a crescent moon, but she does have a scar there. I mean, I don't believe in magic, but you know, let's be real. I, I, well, I kind of do, but like you know, like not like what they're saying. You know, because, like, you know. What's wrong, Kiri? Oh, this scar? They were talking about it, weren't they? They're just idiots. I don't believe them. Oh, of course I don't. Oh, no, they're just idiots. Don't believe them. Oh, of course I don't. It's true, though, that this scar means something to me. When I was little, there was this boy I had a crush on. I wanted to impress him so much. So I tried walking on the ropes in the playground. I fell, and that was how I got this scar. Hey, get down here. The funny thing is, we became friends because of that. I told you. I told you so. Are you okay? I'll go get the teacher. So sometimes I actually wonder if this scar has the power to attract boys. Ever since I got it, I've had every boy I ever liked. Okay, well, now, I wasn't reading into it, but now I'm starting to kind of believe what these people were saying. But, of course, it's just a coincidence. No one has that kind of power. So, we have Kiri walking home. Kiri, wait. Aren't we going to walk together? I'm sorry. I have... To, I'm sorry. Today, I have to go see somebody. Oh, it's your boyfriend, right? Huh? I knew it. Shuichi Saito. Doesn't he go to Midoriyama High School? I might have seen him at the station without knowing it. What's he like? Why don't you introduce me to him? I want to meet him right now. All right, but if you want to, if you want to, but but what? He hasn't been going to school lately. Really? Why? He had a horrible experience. He lost both his parents recently. Oh, I was reluctant to tell her. I was reluctant to let her meet Shuichi, but she insisted, so I gave in. Now, before I go any further... This chick mysteriously seems to somehow get get whatever boy she wants because of the scar she's assuming, right? Um, I'm going to be 100%. I see her dying now because we know that the town is kind of incorporated with the whole spiral thing. And as of right now, for me, it seems like it's kind of revolved around Kiri and Shuichi themselves, respectively. Now... You kind of interjecting yourself into this whole little world and you maybe probably try to steal Kiri's boyfriend. You're going to die and get wrapped up inside of a spiral. I'm just going to be real. I can I can already see it. Let's go. 
chit chat. She goes home. She's getting there. She's going home. Shuichi, are you there? Hello? So he comes up. Oh my god, Shuichi looks terrifying. Oh man, I am so ready to see this animated now on uh, uh, Adult Swim. Oh, this is going to be good. So he comes out. Come in. Oh, come on in. Shuichi, this is my classmate, Azumi Kurotani. Or Kurotani. Hello, call me Azumi. Is she, like, is she kind of spitting out spirals on her own? Hello. Huh? So he sees her, and like, he sees kind of like these wavelengths kind of flowing off of her. I'm sorry if that's a little cricket. It's a little cricket. Maybe come over a little bit. Okay, yeah. Uh, do, 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 where was that? Okay, hello, uh, huh? Okay, so, like, he sees, like, some spirals kind of coming off of her. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's wrong, Shuichi? Go away! Go away! It's you! Go away! And don't you ever come here again. Okay, now, what is her deal? Now, we see some stuff kind of spiraling off of her. So, okay, we know there's something up now. See, that dude flipped out for no reason. So, he kicked her out. They left. I'm sorry. Azumi's been so strange. Don't worry about it. He seemed stressed. But he looked, but she looked pale and hardly said a word on our way home. Hello, Shuichi, it's me, Kitty. K Kitty, Kir Kiri, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna go. Kitty, K Kiri. I'm gonna go Kitty. We'll, we'll, we'll go like we we'll said. Kiri. I'm just gonna call her Kiri and just be done with it. What's wrong with you today? You shocked Azumi. Why'd you treat her like that, Kiri? You don't feel it? What? There's something mesmerizing about her. He would know because his, his, both of his parents have been wrapped up with the whole spiral and he lost his mom and his dad. This dude, he's a little more observant to things now and I'm with him. So I don't trust her. It's like she's looking down from a high place. Like vertigo. Huh. It's like looking into a spiral. You have to watch out. She's a spiral. Shuichi. So the girl, could she be a spiral? I was thinking she was going to get killed. But, okay, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. So he slams the phone down. Spiral. She's a spiral. She's contaminated by the spiral. Ding dong. Ding dong. Who could it be at this hour? Shh. She comes in. She's opening the door. And he sees, like, the wavy little line still emitting from her body. Ah! What are you doing here? So she comes in. You're the first boy I ever met who's treated me like this. What is it about me that you don't like? Just go away. Get out of here, Kurozuchi. Kurozuchu. Kurozucho? Anyway. I will not. Every boy I've ever met has fallen for me. How could you reject me? Why? There. You're hiding something on your forehead. Forehead? You mean my scar? So, Kiri told you. No, it's not a scar. It's a spiral. I can feel it. It is a spiral! No! No! It was a moon when she was at the playground. When, when they were at, when they were at uh, PE, it was a moon. What do you mean? It's a crescent-shaped scar. Thanks to this scar, I've never had any problems. See? Problems with love, see? It's a spiral, lady. It is a spiral. It's a spiral. I knew it! Take a look in the mirror by the entrance. It's no crescent. It's a spiral. What? What? I don't... Maybe it used to be shaped like a crescent, but then the end, start, the end started growing and formed that spiral. It's all because of this place, Kurosu. Kurozucho. This town is contaminated with spirals. Go to school in Midoyama and Mido Midoyama. <sighs> I said it earlier. Go to school in Midoyama Rishi. Crap. <sighs> Go to school in Midoriyamashi. Get out of this town as fast as you can. Instead of heeding Shuichi's warning, Azumi Kurotani talked her parents into renting an apartment for her in Kurozucho. I'm going to say this 100%. This emits just like a typical scary movie. When somebody tells you, when this creepy person that's been acting weird the whole time tells you, leave, get out, or run away. Okay, well, you know what, man? This is a nice place, but they told me I shouldn't be here, so it's time for me to get the hell out. Nah, they're going to stay. She's going to rent an apartment like a dummy. Night after night, she visited him. Shuichi opened the door. Oh, she, she's terrified now. She's scared. She's scared. Please, I never felt this. Oh, no. So she's not even scared about the spiral. She's scared that he turned her away. I never felt this way before. All the boys I knew couldn't stop thinking about me. But now I know what it feels like. I can't stop thinking about you. 
So we see her at school with Kiri. Azumi, I don't want you visiting Shuichi anymore. He doesn't want you around. Besides, he's my boyfriend. I won't. I like him too. I'll make him care about me. Oh, there go another uh, 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 little cyclone twister duster thing. Whee and it comes up and it whips by her. And the spy, dude, look how big that spiral. Okay, Cheek, now, now it's time to be worried. You should have been worried when it was this big, but now it's this big taking up your forehead. It's time to get worried. So Kiri sees the spiral and it's like it's dug into her forehead. Uh, 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 Azumi, your forehead. Azumi, stop. Azumi. Azumi. It's, a, it's me, Okada from Class C. Please go out with me. Leave me alone. I told you no. I know you did, but I'm so drawn to you. I have to be near you. I can't help. It's like I'm being sucked in. I'm going to be 100% with y'all. This is way creepier than what I gave it credit for, man. I'm in here tripping out. And, oh boy, I, I can't wait for it to be animated. I can't wait, man. Azumi stopped coming to school the next day. I stopped by her student apartment, but no one answered the door. I could tell she was in her room, though. What happened to her forehead? It looked like a spiral digging into her skull. But how can that be? I, I must have been hallucinating. Then several days later, ring, ring, ring. Hello? Kiri, it's me. Shuichi? Do you know someone named Okada? Okada, no. Who is he? I see. He just gave me a phone call. Says he wants to talk to me about you. He's meeting me at the park. Dude, you bed not go, you bed not go to that park. See, man, see, this is what, see, see, if I was in a scary movie, I guarantee you the movie would end in like 10 to 15 minutes because all somebody had to tell me to do was leave and not come back. All right, well, you said it, man. I mean, I would love to stay here, but you know, you, you were very adamant that I shouldn't stay here. So, you know, it is what you said. Or if I get past that part and progress, and I get a phone call for somebody I don't know. Talking about they want to meet me. I don't know how you got my number. But you don't get off my phone. I'm not meeting you in a park after dark. I don't know you. These are these are common things. Come on, man. But we all know that that's uh, Azumi and like the whole spiral kind of wrapped up in all of this. Sounds like he has a crush on you. What? I don't know anything about this. I see. All right, then. Click. What, what? He didn't even try to talk it out with her. He's like, all right, all right. What is going on? What is all of this about? So then she leaves to go to the park. This park must be the one. Maybe my father should have come with me. So she's walking down the streets and it's dark. It's sc it, it looks scary from the from the pages. So why are y'all? I'm not. I'm going home. And if you a friend, if you live, I'll come visit you tomorrow. But if you die, I am so sorry. So she's walking and she comes past this figure or lady that's standing right there. Why, that's, yep, it's Azumi. That must be Azumi. Azumi, is you right? Look at, look at her face. Look how, I ain't even gonna say it. You guys know, it's scary. Look at her face. I knew it. What's going on? I was so worried about you. Kiri, I feel strange. My left eye, I can't seem to focus. Could you take a look for me? Or could you, could you take a look? That is just nasty. I didn't need to see that. Look at, look at that. I did not need to see that. That is just nasty, man. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. It, the, the, the doggone eyeball and all of the nerves are swirling in the spiral. Oh, oh. I gotta go. Mm -mm. <gasps> yeah, you, you need to be freaked out. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, oh, God. So, then we have Shuichi meeting Okada. What's this all about? Just hold on. She'll be here in a minute. Who, Kiri? No. She... See here, she comes. All right, I brought Shuichi Kaito like you asked. Now you'll go out with me, right? No, I have no use for you anymore. Go home. <laughs> go home. What? But you promised. You said if I brought him, you'd go out with me. 
Ha! I don't care about my promises. I just wanted to see Su I just wanted to see Shuichi. See Shuichi. What? You lied to me? You liar! Oh, her whole face gone now. Oh, you got it. You have got to be kidding me. She ain't got no eyes no more. How is she walking? How is she knowing where to go? She has no eyes, no nose. Oh, God. This is, see. I've never read a Junji Ito uh, manga at all before. And you guys told me that I really should because, like, it's great works. But y'all did not tell me how creepy and warped this was, man. This is not, oh, God. Man, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. Look at that. Can't nobody sleep after seeing this. <sighs> Answer me. What? <laughs> what happened to you? Is is that is that is that bone? Dude, don't stick your hands in there. What are you doing? I'm sorry if I'm yelling, you guys. I'm so I'm so entranced. So like a fool, he stuck his hands in there and it sucked him just right up. Key, yeah, huh? Who was that? Shuichi, where are you? Can you hear me, Kiri? Over here. What are you doing there? Okada just got sucked in. He's gone. Now she's going to vanish too. Look at her body. It's gone. Look. What? She's being consumed by the spiral that appeared on her body. Look. Look what's happening. Dude, that is horrendous, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. Woo. She don't. Uh, dude, it's so, uh, oh, oh, man. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, okay. Azumi Kuratani was devoured from head to toe. Yep. Without leaving a uh, trace behind. Yep. And she's gone. Oh, boy. I did not know it was going to get this. Oh, boy, that is horrendous. That is, oh, my gosh. That is stomach turning. Oh, boy. Oh, that is stomach turning. Chapter four, the the firing effect. So now we have Kiri, and now there's more spirals in the sky. Hey, Kiri, look, they had another cremation. Yes, ever since Shuichi's dad's funeral, the smoke from the cremation has made these spirals into in the air. Before I dive into this chapter, I gotta say, man. If this is happening in your town, why ain't nobody leaving? Forget this town. Who cares? It's not. My great great grandfather, my mother, my father, my uncle, my cousins, my uncle, any family member, we could have we could have started this town and we could be rich in this town. But if this is happening, and I've seen people just up and vanish, get sucked into little wormholes and spirals that's been on their body. Nobody else has to move. I'll leave, I'll leave and live on the streets somewhere else if I could just get away from this. Because that's crazy. <clears throat> Look, Mitsuo. Soon I'll fall into the dragonfly pond. See? it's Oh, soon it'll fall into the dragonfly, dragonfly pond. See? It's falling slowly as if the pond is sucking it in. That is crazy. Kiri Mitsuo, stop staring at that awful thing and come inside. Mom, where's your father? He's taking care of the killing in the cottage. I think he was up all night. Well, it got her father. Her father's finna die next. I, I'm calling it already. Bet. But this can't be. Dear, would you like me to take over? No, it's all right. I'll take care of this. You'll get sick if you don't get some rest soon. What's wrong with the fire? Just go back to the house. Don't look inside the kiln. But I don't understand. Your father's acting strange. Look, even the smoke from father's kiln is starting to swirl. Because he's wrapped up with the spiral. Mid Midoriyama, she. <sighs> Ceramics exhibition, second floor. Da -da -da. So there's just a, like a ceramic uh, expo. Hmm, interesting. Mr. Goshima, your submissions this time are very odd. Yes, they're completely different from your previous style. Dude, look at that. Dude, but like, I'm being 100%, man. I remember you guys telling me that, you know, like, all of, like, once I dive into this, you know, you go, 
be prepared to be shocked. And every time, like when the spiral type esque stuff comes onto the page and I'm reading it and everything, it is like it is like stomach turning. It's like something is taking in your in my stomach and it's just twisted it, man. Just seeing it. I'm embarrassed. They were all normal pots and plates. But as soon as I put them in the kiln, they became radically deformed. I used to I used a new clay, so I suppose the temperature wasn't right. But I believe as works of art, they are quite successful. I see they do have a life of their own. The sublime colors, the spiral patterns, the organic shapes. Oh, I didn't do that. They f they were formed naturally in the kiln. Some kind of chemical reaction must have occurred during the burn. I see the I see the firing effect, but I've never seen it create such spirals. By the way, what kind of new clay did you use? <laughs> That's a seek. Let's keep it a secret. Wait, I'm going to speculate. Did he use um maybe some stuff from like cremation or something? Is that why the spirals turned out like that? Oh no. So you didn't sell a single piece. Look at that. Nobody's buying that garbage. And even in today's society, like where art is like whatever you make it, nobody's buying that mess. That's hot mess. They don't know art when they see it. Well, it's not surprising. I mean, this stuff isn't very practical. They do look weird. They look weird too. You're such a harsh critic, Kitty. How could these patterns naturally form? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. That's what I'm saying. This has never happened before. Probably will never happen again. And you're not questioning it? What's this? There's a person's face here. What? Where? R right there in the camp. That's a face. You can clearly see that that's a face. What? See what I mean? Oh, no. This face. And over here, too, huh? It looks like a woman. Their dad used the freaking cremation stuff from Shuichi's parents. Looks like a woman. Huh? Mom, dad, don't you think they look like Shuichi's mother and father? Don't you think so, mom? Oh, please. You, you're right. They do look like them. This is horrible. Dear, what is this? I don't know. It must be a coincidence. How could you make something so vicious? But I didn't do anything. They were... Here's another one. There were four faces in all. The two new faces were identified as citizens who died recently. Each had been cremated in Kuro Zucho. Their smoke and ash were formed in the spirals. What's going on, Dad? Why would their faces appear on your pottery? How could this happen? I don't really know. Ceramics are made from the earth, and fire, in other words, it's the work of nature. The ash from the uh, from the cremation went into the river. It went into the where well, the dragonfly pond or whatever. We try our best with human hands, but sometimes nature can create things beyond our control. No, cre can create things beyond our imagination. We don't even see control. After all, most shapes are really patterns, but we can only see a piece of them at a time. Man, this story, what? This is this is crazy. So, like, her mom is making, uh, Kiri's making um, a bento box. You're still making lunch for that weirdo? You shut up. <laughs> Hurry up and go to school. So Shuichi still not going to school? I hope he's been eating properly. Well, that's why I'm doing this for him. But he has to eat a big healthy meal once in a while. Why don't we have him over for dinner? Your father would like to see him too. Well, okay. So she went to get Shuichi. You don't have to pull me, Kiri. I have to, otherwise you won't go out. You'll die of malnutrition living like that. Yeah, you can tell. Dude, dude's cheeks. Like, you can see his bones and everything. But I don't want to go to your house. I'm with him. No, 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 no. It's not you. You live next to Dragonfly Pond. Dragonfly Pond. Yes, that's the pond. It's infect, infested, infected with spirals. Just the same, I forced him to come over. Let me tell you something. I know peer pressure is a real thing and everything and everything like that. But I've never been affected by it. I'm for real. I never in my life done anything I didn't want to do or let someone pressure me into doing something else. I'm just being real. That It just wasn't me. And since they live so close to Dragonfly Pond and all of this spiral stuff is going off at Dragonfly Pond, Kiri, I'm going to be 100%. If y'all can't come over here 
or we're not going out to eat somewhere, I'm not going to your house. I'm just being real. Y'all staying too close to Dragonfly Pond. Shuichi, please, eat all you want. Thank you, Mrs. Goshima. So, oh, this joker's hungry. Sad. This joker's super hungry. Look how he's going in. <laughs> My, you must be really hungry. <laughs> you should come over more often. Yes, sir. He, he's, he's tagging all the food. Sip, sip, sip. He's eating, and boom, boom goes the dynamite, and there's more spirals. And he sees the spirals. What's wrong, Shuichi? The, 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 that plate. It's what? Oh, it's... What's wrong with that plate? I get dizzy just looking at it. Dad, this is one of the plates you made. The, the one of the plates you just made. What is this doing on the table? Now, I'm with Kiri in that point. Now, you knew, you knew, you knew, you were not put this plate on the table. We told you that mess was hot garbage when you brought it home and didn't sell a single piece. Well, the plate was flat enough to eat on, so I bought it out, especially for Shuichi. Well, her so her dad is infected, too. What? How could you give that? How could you give him that twisted thing? Twisted? It's a work of art. I thought anyone, Shuichi, I thought of anyone Shuichi would like it because your father understood art. I still remember when he told me ceramics is the work, is the art of the spiral. He was a huge influence being an artist, not just a craftsman. I experimented by trial and error and finally found the most amazing clay. And this is the work I came up with. Sir. Where did this clay come from? Didn't I call it? Dragonfly Pond. He got it from Dragonfly Pond. Dra Dragonfly Pond? Your f father, you used the mud from Dragonfly Pond? That's right. I dredged it up from there. I I'm sorry. Excuse me. Shuichi, this man, he knew not to get... You, you could tell the smoke was just falling into the Dragonfly Pond. I feel bad about Shuichi, but don't you think he's overreacting? After all, it's just a plate. I wouldn't eat off a plate that was made from the mud from Dragonfly Pond. The Dragonfly Pond. That clay might be made of dead people, but dear. And without hesitating, my father kept digging from Dragonfly Pond. See, you can tell he's obsessed. Like the way he goes in there and just going all in the water and just pulling up. The I'm soaking wet. Whew. I'm not using this. This fool is stupid. I'm just being real. So he's making more, more uh stuff out of the clay from Dragonfly Pond. Hey, these are normal faces. You're not making those wart ones anymore. What are you talking about? It's only after I put them in the kiln that they turn that way. Finally, the kiln was prepared for six days and six nights. It would burn. We were strictly forbidden to go near the cottage. It's already one thing and. It's already one in the morning. I wonder if father's still up. Rawr! So she hears something coming from the cottage. I wonder if he's all right. He hasn't slept in two days. I should go check. The cottage might catch fire if he falls asleep. So she still hears something coming from the cottage. And her father's asleep. I knew he'd be asleep. And the roaring is coming from the kiln. Oh, dude. Is she going to look inside the kiln? Don't look in there. Don't. And she's going to do it. I know she's going to that was how I saw it. She looked inside. Oh, God. They didn't have to show me. Let her see it. Oh, God. That is horrible. The heat. Shuichi. So they're making noise and talking. That can't be. Kiri, what are you doing? I told you not to go near the kiln. Get back in bed. The heat. Ah, Shuichi. So she can't sleep. So she's hearing. I can still hear them. The voices are reaching this far. This is going to continue for four more days. They're going to be suffering like this for four days in a kiln. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Uh, the heat. The heat. It's it, it's me, Shuichi. I got so lonely I called you. Oh, you don't sound well. Oh, it's nothing. You're lying. Tell me what's going on. Shuichi. Shuichi. I told you it's nothing. Uh, hey, I hear something. S someone's voice. Shuichi, help me. Th there's no one. Shuichi, Shuichi. You're lying. Someone's screaming. I can hear it. Help me, help me. The same thing must have happened the last time he fired up the kiln. We just didn't know about it. Only father knew. And he didn't tell us. Shuichi, what are you doing here this late? Go home. Mr. Goshima, I need to see your kiln. Go home. Someone's calling for me. Calling from the kiln. Go home. It sounds like 
Shuiji, help me. It sounds like my mother. I said go home. Wow. Yes, it's her. My father's in there too. Why? How could they be in there? Get out of the way. So he opens the candle. He smashes it. What do you think you're doing? And boom comes the dynamite and they're just, they just come out. Oh, dude, that is horrendous, man. Look at that. It's nasty looking, but it's epic at the same time. Shuichi. Shuichi, are you all right? Hurry, get get out. Just get out. Father. Wow. Shuichi, call an ambulance. The cottage burned to the ground. It needed to burn to the ground. It, it, it should have burned to the ground. I suppose we were lucky we only lost the kill. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. What a nice surprise. This turned out well. There must be others buried around here. Even by daylight, Father's obsession continued. Man, come on, man. This is crazy. <sighs> like I said in the first, uh, in chapter three, if, so, if all of this stuff is... Y'all can't even put it off anymore. You can clearly tell that something is not right in this town with Dragonfly Pond, the, the cremation center, and everything. You, clearly something is wrong. It is time to pack up your stuff, the whole kit and caboodle, and leave. There's no need to stay there anymore. This, stuff is go Crazy stuff is going on in this town, and they're wrapped up in the... Kiri can't be this stupid either, though. Her mom can't be this stupid. And I'm, it seems like her father is still wrapped up in the spot. Like, he's starting to be wrapped up in a spiral. And Shuichi doesn't seem wrapped up in a spiral. It just seems like he's, like, a little more tuned to, like, kind of just notice certain things. It doesn't seem like he's wrapped up in the spiral. But it seems like he's he notices a lot more stuff now. And it's just time to leave, man. Let's just leave all this stuff. Let's forget it and just move. Man. Yeah, boy, oh, boy. This is my first time reading anything uh, by Junji Ito, man. And I must say, man, I am fascinated. I'm only four chapters in, and I love every single minute of it. And I see that it's now more of a curse. But I'm, I'm still trying to understand why... Um, even if they if they couldn't see it, I would be a little more inclined to understand what's going on. But they can clearly see that like this isn't right, man. Something something's not right, and 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 they're still just happen, just letting it go, let it go on and let it happen, man. But I'm super intrigued, and I can't wait to dive into the next two chapters, man. This is your boy Nick Incredible. Don't forget to smash the like button. You can't smash it anymore. Comment down below, and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe. But only if you really want to, man. And remember that anime matters, anime is greatness, and anime is life. And manga matters as well because uh, Uzumaki straight slam, man. Peace out.